after you. Thank you. My name is Matteo Sogne. I'm from Modena, Italy. The way I like to call it is the land of slow foods and fast cars. I want to open a traditional Italian food, but with a little twist. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's got a young vibe to it. Yeah, location is great. Not really grandma's restaurant, but grandma's recipe in a little bit more modern environment, plated well with cool plates, cool design, and you know, make it a real nice pot. The feeling, you know, I you know for food industry, I value a lot the feeling when you walk in. Yeah. It's very cozy, but modern. Yeah. yeah, very little to change, I think, up here. Yeah, no, it's fully equipped, you know, it's right to rock and roll. But yeah, what I was thinking is that you can have a little pasta making station here mm -hmm. and then kind of move that counter there, here, so you have a pasta bar. It's a welcoming space without being heavy. It fits perfectly what I want to do. I like it. I'm Italian, so I like to do Italian food, but I want to do a fresh traditional, you know, not a traditional that you have to take a five days nap after. And I'm then, all for fresh pasta. Absolutely, yeah. Utah needs more. Yeah. Italian, real <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> I love it. It's written in Italian. <laughs> that one is? Certificato espresso perfetto, yeah. Carico acqua. It's all Italian. Most of the really good food, like balsamic vinegar, like prosciutto, like parmesan cheese, like tortellini, bolognese sauce, all those slow foods are made within 20, 25 miles of my house. Whoa. Oh, there you go. I'm not in the restaurant <laughs> business, so I don't know. <laughs> wow. Still labeled, it's, wow. So this is a fridge, not a freezer? Yeah, no, that, this is a fridge. Okay. There's two fridges and a freezer, okay. I believe. Yeah, it's ready to rock and roll. This, this stuff is expensive. Yeah. My idea is <laughs> good, it's here. So this should be the freezer. Or this should be a fridge and this is a freezer. It's a huge kitchen. Yeah, no, it is huge. Sounds silly, but these things are so freaking expensive. It's a can opener? What is this? Yeah, that's for industrial cans. The this thing cans. comes out, Yeah. you poke oh, it like that, okay. and you put it in, and, and this rotate. one you just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the industrial can opener. Just got to stab it down all yeah, the time. Yeah, because the cans are bigger too. Yeah, that's the most satisfying thing to do in a restaurant. <laughs> just stabbing down, cause it, so it's real fun. <laughs> Here's all the hotline, yeah. which we will need to readjust a couple things, but usually what, what you do, you have uh, two people working past the station doing busy nights, uh, one working entrees, and it's always easy to have the pasta thing in the middle, mm -hmm. just so that the entree guy can always help with pasta, and then you have two people for appetizers and dessert. It's real good, you know, you just need fine tune in, you know, you don't need anything special to be done. Yeah. This is great for a bar because you already have everything, you know, you have a coffee machine, you have an ice maker, you have all the fridges already locked in, and yeah, that's all you need, you know, some wine and stuff, but, you know, I think this adds some dynamicity to the place, you know, adds it makes it a little bit more dynamic, you know, up and down, kind of like breaks down different seating, yeah, no, I think got really good potential oh yeah oh yeah easy you can put 30 people in here easy have speakers out here too yeah. i mean this is another 30 people that's 12 14 you move this four top up that four top down so that's already 14 do another row over here so might be 26 28 yeah it's a great space you know it's a i like the modern feeling in a, probably one of the most vibing streets in Salt Lake City. It's a rare, very rare gem to find. I could be open if I wanted to in, you know, two, three weeks. But, you know, given our idea is a little bit different than what it was before, it's probably going to be a couple months. But it's very, very hard to find spaces that are already ready to rock and roll, especially in this market. So, you know, thanks to Karen, she's, she's doing a great job. 